Welcome to the second episode of the be the yeah. <laughs> the BFF Buzz. The BFF Buzz. <laughs> uh, You're having a day today. Oh <laughs> gosh. Today we are recording because we have we have a big snowstorm coming. So that will mean that Misty and I and Emily cannot get together on Sunday when this uh, when our original Sunday was supposed to go live. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to beat Mother Nature who's on the track right now. Yeah, so, she done lost her mind. <laughs> yes, and our plan was go live on Sunday and after our live, then we would do our Wednesday show and record it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it didn't work out. So here we are, bear with us. And we're still learning, this is a new show. So my name is Chris and I'm Misty. Naya, thank you very much. Uh, and hit share, hit share. Oh, yes. uh, we, we want to uh, be able to grow this. I think this will be a good thing uh, for not just my foundation, but for everybody. Let's so give everybody a chance to know what's know, going on. Yeah, get to understand what's going on in the world of childhood cancer. Uh, we're going to do everything we can to just make this as successful as possible by educating and advocating for all of the families, whether it be a child of cancer family or a family of a woman who was lost or is battling with ovarian cancer. So, yeah, definitely let us know where you, who you are and where you're at. Yeah. Let us know your stories, yeah. you know? Don't hold back. Let us know your stories. Who knows? We may share it. Yeah. Yeah, you never know. We may find a story that needs to get on here. We need to spread the word. And, uh, you know, we'll just see how it goes and see what information comes out, how we can utilize it to help them, help the families. Um, I, first, let me mention where this is going to be broadcast. We're going to be on Facebook on our Becca and Friends Foundation page. Yep. And if you're watching this on the Child Cancer Aware page, guess what? We started the page. We're That's, the parent page we, for we, it. We are the ones who started it. So uh, you're a part of our organization. We didn't just pop in. We just chose to make Child of Cancer our primary focus rather than put our name out there because it, it, we wanted the kids to be first. So, and I think my mother runs that, that page, and I think she's done an absolutely wonderful oh, yeah. job. She's built it in a very short amount of time. Um, she has uh, tried to, in, uh, you know, interact with the families, oh, yeah. and I think it's a wonderful thing. She's done great with it. So, And I didn't mm -hmm. realize, before getting involved with the foundation two or three years ago, I didn't realize actually how common childhood cancer is. A lot of people don't. It's not as rare as people say it is. No, a lot of people don't realize. So, can can we see the signs? This is our cash app. Uh, and It's uh, a here. dollar sign, Becca's Friends 14 on cash app. <laughs> and then you can also go to our website at BeccaAndFriends.org and go through the tabs. And there's plenty of information even on that page. Since we deal with, with um, childhood cancer, what I do with my foundation is I've always tried to do things the way Becca would do them. And okay. Becca being 14, she would draw her sign. <laughs> she would just draw it. So yeah. I drew it, you know? I just drew it. And I thought, well, that's a Becca thing if I ever saw it. And she liked the tie dye. And yeah, this was, she loved all them. Her favorite color was green and neon pink. That's what I did there. Ah. That's her writing, and I got it black, but I had it outlined in the neon you green and pink. the pink. Yeah. So, but that's her writing. I, I had them take uh, this. She would sign her notes, love you, mama. And so I had them take that off of there and, and put it on. But those are her colors, black, neon green, and neon pink. <laughs> so <laughs> we just made it as colorful as possible. That's why you have the neon green here. And for anybody who's wondering, B E K A H, she's named after the the biblical spelling of Rebecca. So, um, I want to make sure I clear that up oh, yeah. because a lot of people will message and say I can't find your website, and I would say, well, what what are you typing in? And they'll go B E C C A. No, it's B E K A H. <laughs> but anyway, who we are? Who are we? Who are we? 
coming. <laughs> Stumped. Yeah, just a little Squirrel. bit. Squirrel. <laughs> yeah, squirrel moments. <laughs> <laughs> um, Becca and Friends Foundation is a living embodiment of my daughter, Becca, who passed away on December 12, 2012 of stage four ovarian cancer. And um, I have tried my best to make this all about the families. Oh yeah. I mean, the that's, families and the kids come first. Yes, I I, um, I would love to share all of my experiences with you, but we don't have the time. <laughs> <laughs> Over the lifespan of this series, I believe. We'll I imagine I'll be get able to quite share a bit of it out. I'll be able to share quite a bit of it over the time. So over time. But and that's that's fine. Definitely make sure you watch us Sunday, seven PM Central Time. And Wednesdays we'll have them all uploaded seven PM Central Time also. Yeah. And and, and we're gonna try and be as consistent as possible with it. Um I uh, and for those who want to know why would you would do why would you donate blah, 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 again <laughs> she's stumbling over her words uh, today. it's a day um, right now our foundation has been just there's been a stranglehold on us because of this virus mm -hmm. and we have struggled to keep our head above water had it not been from for auto smart they really came in at a time of need. Yeah, they did. I couldn't be more grateful. They kept us above water, but now, you know, I'm and I was really considering closing completely yeah. because we just didn't have the funds. And I thought, no, I got a voice, and that's why I started this. You definitely have the gift of <coughs> yeah. Let me choke. <laughs> You definitely have the gift of gab, and well, I do myself. <laughs> My oh, gosh. Man. And Mother Nature, she's tripping out right now. More than I'm choking. Midwest is kind of in a polar vortex right now. Man, we got sub-zero temperatures coming and wind chills that are not like we usually see here. And we're expecting, what, half a foot to a foot of snow. They can't decide. <laughs> I know I'm going to bury myself in my house if that's possible. <laughs> that's why I said, let's get together. Let's record our shows. And, and that way we can all go home and stay in the warm. You know, right. I would feel bad if something would have happened to you coming over here anyway in the middle of a snowstorm. <laughs> right. So, you know, but our phones are, our funds are going to be used. Uh, basically to cover our administrative costs and then maybe after that if we have enough then we could maybe work on improving this yeah. improving the type of camera because right now we're going cheap cheap as they get devices we already carry on a day yeah <laughs> the, we got a phone and iPad and that's it I personally think cheap is okay, but I want to make sure um, that if this is going to be successful and we can use this to advocate and mm -hmm. educate, uh, you know, we want to advance it a little bit and grow. So oh, yeah. if we had additional funds, um, we are a 100% volunteer organization. Mm -hmm. So uh, any of our funds would go to our, we have, a very small administrative cost comparatively. We have to file paperwork once a year with the state of Kansas mm -hmm. and with the IRS. Yeah. So, you know, so we just, we pay for that. And then we have our PO box. We got to pay for that. Um, we don't really, oh, and then we have our services that we have to pay for that run the computer system that yeah. that is with Deidre. And, mm -hmm. um, uh, Deidre is our secretary slash treasurer, and um, Judy is our vice president. So that's part of my board of directors, uh, and then there's me. But anyway, that's what we're going to use. Anything over and above what would cover our our administrative costs, mm -hmm. um, we I think we'll just reinvest it back into this show. Our other programs are kind of on hold right now. Yeah. I mean, if we could build up enough funds to make that go, I would love to oh, get yeah. Becca Buddy nice. started again. Oh, yeah. And the Sock Club, you know, that's for the young adults and the teenagers. Uh, older teenagers. And I, I think that's 
really something I want to get started again. But, you know, that takes money. Oh, yeah. And I'm not going to go bugging people who don't have a job. Right. You know, and, and right now we have morals and ethics. Uh, a lot. In the end, that's going to come back. Oh, yeah. And I, I, I believe karma has no problem. <laughs> she is a real thing. Paying me back if I do something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> karma is a real thing. It is. <laughs> um, we got... Today we're pretty much going to cover any birthdays from Valentine's Day back to January 1. January 12th, Alora turned 9. Ah! Now, Laura, she is not She's so a, uh, funny. Uh, these are a lot of our local kids. Yep. That meaning Wichita and surrounding areas. So if your kiddo has a birthday, just let us know. Yep. We, you know, we don't mind adding them in. Oh, no. Uh, Grayson turned seven. Grayson is seven. On the 6th of January. Oh, happy birthday, Grayson. One of our buddies, uh, the 15th of January, Brett. Turned oh, 18. He's an adult. Ah, <laughs> <time to grow. laughs> That's one of our good buddies. And Hannah on the 21st of January turned 18. Oh my gosh. These kids, I our local kids, they are growing up so fast. Yep. But that's what I want to see. Oh yeah. Ah, Is that all of our birthdays? From Valentine's Day back, yeah. Oh my gosh. Ah. Let me fix my hair. <laughs> Those things are so loud. <laughs> uh, we do have a couple new diagnoses. <coughs> That's uh, a big word. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Especially for somebody who don't sleep very much. <laughs> <laughs> We've got one, and I can't remember exactly where he's from, but I know he is overseas. Um, it's S L A V. Slav. Yeah, I want to say he's over near Russia area. Oh, maybe, maybe yeah, like uh, that one was mentioned. Uh, kind of over there. He's got, I, and I can't pronounce it. I know it's a sarcoma. Rhabdomyosarcoma. Rhabdomyosarcoma. See, this is where this show will come in handy. Rhabdomyosarcoma. <laughs> but the first word is A L V E O L A R. Avalar. January 18th, uh, he had a relapse. Oh, man. And then. Dude, uh, that sucks. Yeah. Journey, she's from Maine. She's got a, a syndrome, MDS syndrome, which leads, could possibly lead to leuke leukemia. And she's eight years old. Slab that is what 15. Melissa had. Melissa had um, SDS, I think is what it's called. It's a syndrome. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of these syndromes that lead directly into particular cancers. But there's a lot of people who don't understand those syndromes. Maybe we'll talk about that too. Yeah. Now... The sad part. The things we don't want to talk about is our losses. We don't want to talk about it, but we're gonna. Yeah. Because everybody needs to know. Uh, January 25th, Talon, 17 years old, neuroblastoma. Uh, January 26th, Jace, eight years old, or six years old, sorry, DIPG. January 30th, Baron, B, yeah, I think that's how it's pronounced, is Baron, A-T-R-T, -T, eight years old. Uh, February 1st, Tess, D-I-P-G, six years old. January 30th, Aspen, was an ALL survivor, but COVID ended up taking her at 17. Uh, January 26th, Eddie, D-I-P-G, seven years old. And February 12th, Skylin, DIPG at five. Jeez. That's too bad. And you know, DIPG, that's going to be one of our shows. Oh, I yeah. promise you, it's on my list. It is going to be one of our shows because that dang cancer, it is it's, taking all of them. I I, we, don't so have, we don't have any survivors. 
We have some that are in remission, but they're cancers just one by one. They come back and it just takes them just like that. I mean, just like that. I'm not kidding. It's, it's a brain, brain cancer, isn't it? Brain stem. Brain stem. Mm. And look how many we have. Mm-hmm. It's, it's too many. Just from January 1 till Valentine's Day, there's four. Four of them, yeah. That's too many. So in a little over 30 days. Praying for those families. Oh, yes. Praying for those families. I'm not, I know where that, I know where you are. So we're going to leave that right now because I do not want to cry. You, me either. <laughs> <laughs> because we're both a little emotional people. <laughs> um, I just, I, you know, I just, I live that. And yeah. I, I, my mind always goes to the mom. Oh, yeah. You know. What because is, that's what you were in your situation. Yeah, I just go You to know the how the mamas feel. Yeah. So uh, let's mention a couple. Let's, let's go back to happy. Um. We had two birthdays of volunteers. Uh, you just had a birthday. Yep. A couple days ago. On the 11th of February. And Ms. Deidre, Deidre <laughs> had a birthday on January 3rd. So, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Deidre. <laughs> She's so, so going to love us for that one. <laughs> she'll be like, why'd you even say my name? <laughs> right? <laughs> Because we can. Yeah, because I can. So anyway. <laughs> As always. <laughs> we are going to do a new segment. Yes. We are going to do a new segment. But we can't start it until we get everybody involved. So what we want to do is we want to start a new segment called the mail bag. Okay. And uh, obviously we can't start it right now because we have we didn't we don't have anybody out there yet. Yeah. But what we want you to do is either the women or the families. families, but you can also have the kids draw us a picture. You can have the kids send us a card, um, send us a postcard. Let me throw this around. <laughs> send us a postcard. <laughs> Just send us anything, and we want to make that our. Mailbag. So. Mailbag. And we will read those cards and show those pictures. Oh, yeah. And all of that on our show. Oh. I think it would be fun to get everybody oh, involved. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it'll give the kids something to do. You know, you're gonna you're gonna draw Chris a picture. Right. Just draw me a picture. You can color it, you know, like my colorful signs. <laughs> Just color it. My, my mailbag sign. The address is Becca and Friends Foundation, P.O. Box 629, Derby, Kansas, 67037. And make sure you spell Becca. Can you see it? Make sure you spell Becca, B-E-K-A-H. Oh, yeah. Becca is B-E-K-A-H. You know, anything that you want to send us, you know... Hey, we'll we'll, hey. we'll show it off and just kind of look at what yeah what's coming in and and talk about the kids, you know. Because should, should they put some type of notation that it's for the buzz mail? Yeah, bag? yeah. Put All on right. there. Put on there. Attention mailbag. Yeah. Attention mailbag. Yeah. And I'll be the mailbag. <laughs> you know, the old bag. That way, we, <laughs> <laughs> well, that way, when Julie Judy goes to the mailbox. Yeah, she knows. Okay, she'll know. Get this, this to Chris is, pretty quickly. Yes. So, well, she'll actually drop it off with Deidre because Deidre has more free time than I do. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um, let me just talk about one more thing. February 15th was National Childhood Cancer Day. It was after our first show, mm -hmm. but before this one. So, I want to make sure we recognize that day. And let me give you some facts. 46 kids a day. It's actually 46 to 54 kids per day in the United States are diagnosed with cancer. Prior diagnosed. <laughs> Words. 7 to 10 kids yeah. per day will die. It, that is a lot. It is a lot. Uh, a lot of people think we've got... 30 million kids in the United States, that's not a lot. 
It doesn't work that way. Mm -mm. And I am going to go over that. That's something else I have on my list of things we're going to talk about. I'm going to talk about why childhood cancer is not rare. Oh, yeah. uh, because not all children are susceptible. Not all children have the family history. So mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about that. And I'm going to show you one day, child of cancer is not rare. Yeah. We're right. not dealing with, this is how many kids we have in our country, so it's rare. Uh-uh. Doesn't work that way. So I will be breaking that down. And I've said it before on one of our segments. It, if you ain't been around Chris or ain't been around this foundation, you'll find out real quick she doesn't sugarcoat. Nope, I don't have time. I don't have time to sugarcoat it. I don't have time to make it pretty because there was nothing pretty about it. Yeah. There was nothing pretty about my daughter's fight. There has been nothing pretty about, well, I shouldn't say nothing because we've all had our good times. Oh, yeah. But we had this much pretty cute smiling bald kids and this much ugly so we need to focus on this because when we realize this is a problem we might be willing to change it mm -hmm. but as long as we're seeing smiling cute little bald kids we think it's a dang joy ride i'm sorry it's not is not a joy ride for Becca, and it sure the heck isn't a joy ride for any of those kids out there. There are kids that will lay on the bathroom floor because their chemotherapy makes them hot. And just feeling that tile or linoleum feels yes. good. And then they'll lay down on the bathroom floor after puking for 15 minutes because of the treatment because they just are too weak to get out of there. And mama is sitting on the floor with them. And I'm gonna hush because I'm gonna cry. Even though February 15th was National Child of Cancer Awareness Day, doesn't mean that that's where that needs to stop. That needs to continue on. Oh, yeah. It and needs to be a daily needs to be thing. Every day. So um, stick with us because I'm going to educate. We're going to try to have fun. Oh, yeah. We're going to try to talk about the, the good things too and, and, and try to have fun with it. But at the same time, I am going to put the ugly side out there. Oh, yeah. I want people to know that there is so much less good than there is bad, and we need to find a way to get that out there. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, Becca was cute, smiling, bald kid this much of the time. And the rest of it was ugly. And it was chemo rashes, puking, NG tubes, I've, or Hickman. She had a double lumen Hickman. Uh, coming out, I had to clean up everything every night. It was, it's ridiculous. You got to wear gloves. You can't even touch your children. You got to wear gloves to change your diapers. Obviously, she wasn't in diapers, but there are parents out there who have to change diapers in their, their, their toddler toddlers. And even their teenagers, some of them have had to do that too, especially the ones that are incapacitated. So... You know, I, I want to make sure all that's out there. Oh, yeah. Because as long as the public thinks this is smiling, cute little ball kids, this is never going to get better. And we're going to stay here. And we have stayed here. Eight years I have been doing this, and we don't have anything better. Mm -hmm. I want everybody to like, share, and comment. Don't forget, you can catch us on both Facebook pages. And... Um, our Instagram page, mm -hmm. and we will put this on our YouTube. All of them are Becca and Friends Foundation, except one, and that is the Child Cancer Aware page. So we'll make sure that uh, we get that out there on the Child, Child Cancer Aware page. Mm -hmm. um, Don't yeah. forget, you can donate at either BeccaandFriends.org or at our Cash App at dollar. Becca's Friends 14. Uh, do what you can. And that's what hey, we're doing, is we're getting the word out. One of the best donations I ever got was one of those trial size $1 Dollar General hand sanitizer bottles. Uh -huh. It was when I first started this. It was uh, a single mom. She didn't have anything extra, but she had a, a dollar on payday. Um, you know, she had three kids, so she had to focus on those kids. Oh, and yeah. that, I'm certainly okay with that. And um, she had $1 and she put a note around this and then put it in between my front door and my screen door 
when we were still living in, when I was apartment. still living in the apartment. And um, she put that little thing right there and I kicked it on my way in the door. But she left this note wrapped around it. That's the best donation I ever got. Oh, yeah. So don't think that $1 cannot make a difference. Cause exactly. It can, it'll probably make a difference in the heart of one of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, $1 uh, definitely can take things farther than you think. But it was the thought that mm -hmm. she thought of us while she was trying to get stuff for the family, for the kids, you know. And she thought of us. And... and that kind of heart, you, you no. Okay, I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> yeah, we don't let kids fight cancer alone. That's right. But thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, and peace. peace.